Hi everyone, Sarah's Gaming here, and just a little update on 3.4.2. Uh, this already had a minor update on 3.4.2, which was a new loading screen, uh, raid log, damage correctly calculated for each Titan and sorted by Titan order, and tournament ID no longer cut off on iPad resolutions, and balance tweaks to tier 3 arena and enemy effects. Now they have done a, an update today on the 12th of November 19, where they've introduced two new raid cards. So I'm just going to go through what these new raid cards are, because they might have a quite significant change to raid builds this so these are the two cards they've literally just released today which is a ravenous swarm and totem of power so ravenous swarm is an affliction card their wings consume the wind from the sky and it has a raid damage per second of plus 124 percent chance 15 percent duration five seconds and stacks up to five taps have a chance to apply a stack of swarm to the tapped part when a part is inflicted with the maximum number of swarm attacks all future swarm stacks will find a random target. Okay, that might be quite good for stacking on multiple body parts. I would imagine that quite be quite good for an all armor or all body, maybe limb part set. And they got totem power, which is a support card. The biggest can be brought down by the smallest. Totem damage multiplier plus 59.5%. Totem duration six seconds, and that's max stacks to six. Fairies will fly across the screen, tapping on them will drop a totem of power. The totem power will increase raid damage dealt to the Titan Lord part near it. Now that does look interesting. I think that might be a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Reason being is that if you're trying to get your 600 taps max on your raid and then you also got to tap on the six additional flying fairies on the screen, that might take away to your max tapping power on your raid window chance. And also, if it says it will increase the damage dealt to Titan Lord Pard near it, does that mean the totems drop randomly? So if you're using attack on limbs on this totem power and then it lands near a head, or if it, you're attacking the head only and it lands near the limbs, uh, not only would you might lose tap power by trying to collect the fairies, but you might lose overall total damage power. So it'd be quite interesting how that mechanic works and how that's going to be implemented and what other cards will best support it. But we'll give it a try. So these two cards, not as powerful as I thought they might be, but there's going to be a lot of different changes and different kind of experimentation. I've got to try first to find out the best decks and see what these are really capable of pushing. I've already got the Ravenous Swarm. I just need to start collecting the Totem of Power. But I'm still happy they've introduced this. And the other thing that recently they've updated, they started doing more community updates. They seem to be releasing once a week, once every other week. The latest one is Update 6. And that's just saying about any fan art. So some great fan art. You can find it on the Tap Titans 2 Reddit page. And then it's got links to all the amazing artwork that can be found. And also they tend to be featuring other YouTubers. So I do recommend to check out their channels because every YouTube player I think deserves to be supported. They are the hardworking people. And there's another one, a Let's Play. I am going to subscribe to both of them. And just a little bit of information about the Halloween being over. You can go to Instagram page to see all the pet horror loading screens that they had throughout the Halloween period. And if you haven't seen it already, you can click on this link to go to the Game Hive's Twitch page where you can watch Hammy being drawn in a spooky way. I wasn't completely sure if I should talk about the Halloween updates, the Halloween events, because there was come good feedback, some bad feedback about how it went. Um, I think I will cover it just briefly, just because they have made some statements, they are going to learn from the mistakes and just basically explain about what happened. So basically the Halloween event, this season of Halloween 2019, there was an incentive to collect what they called souls and for a certain amount of souls you collect, you get certain levels of tier. Now they did work out and the highest reward amount you can get for collecting everything is you would need a maximum of 5,500 souls. Now what the controversy was, was that they, we worked out that through the different methods of collecting souls, the maximum amount you can collect by free, for free to play, would be a maximum of 3,800 souls. So we worked out that you can get 975 from Diamond Fairy Collections, 520 from Clan Attacks with eight attacks per day, 780 for Daily Quest, um, leaving 1,200, and times four from Rank 1 and Tournaments, 
and 25 from daily times 13. So overall, the, the amount of souls you can get from free to play was 3,800, which leaves you 1,750 missing to get the total max, which is 5,550. Now that would work out to make up that difference of 1,750 souls to get the max amount. You would still need to buy 14 titan chest or use the time within 14 days to collect enough diamonds to buy 14 titan chests. so just bear that in mind so if you look at the chart so we get the here so the max amount here is 3800 uh, 3, which you can get from free to play and the special avatar is at 4000 so basically you say that you can't even get the special halloween event avatar unless you either saved up somehow new to save up tons of diamonds before get those titan chests to make up that small difference or you pay money to do it that's the only way so that that was the first kicker first what most people weren't happy about and the fact is it showed you more rewards for the 5500 total now if you look at the cost of the titan chests so you need 57,600 diamonds to get that amount, you'd have to spend, so if you choose the most expensive one, which is um, 100 pounds to get 14,000 diamond, you would have to buy five of five, 100 pounds, well, I say four, because you probably collect the remainder diamonds from drops and other things, but you say you'd need an, a minimum of 400 pounds, 400 pounds to buy 12 Titan chests to collect enough souls that you'd get from the titan chest to complete it that's the only way you can get it is to buy the souls which were covered in the titan chest so 400 pounds to finish it which was pointless because the rewards you got you would have got better rewards from buying those titan chests that it would have been pointless to spend money to spend 400 pounds but that's not the point the point was that there was literally no way to complete the event without spending money or by somehow you'd have saved 57,000 diamonds before the 14 day event which was unless you're an M player or, or a well you there's no way you've known to save that amount so these are the different methods you could have collected the souls so tournaments chests, raise attacks diamond fairies daily rewards and daily achievements and even with all that the max amount was 3,800 now the event itself was very fun it is did get involved i really enjoyed it so that saves the amount you get 150 souls per chest so that was it and apart from those methods apart from those methods we just shown the only other way to get souls would have been from titan chests and you only get 150 per time chest so there was literally no point spending 400 quid just to complete it now they have mentioned in the discord server so jeff just said thanks for your concerns about having an event they have even though you heard that you've made increase in soul match ward and all particip participating tournaments which they did increase the tournaments um, rewards it still wasn't enough i think a lot of people got between the um 3,000 to 3,500. Some got near 4,000, but it still wasn't quite enough. They have, so they have mentioned that attention event was to make sure all players can easily collect equipment sets, which make sure that people don't get stuck on the four or five set because of poor RNG. We agree that it was a bit too different for all players, so complete the event sets, we decided to increase the amount of either souls for tournaments, which was still not enough to complete it fully. The lowest reward for tournaments increased to 100 souls, so have to participate in activities in an event to complete your set. This increase makes it easier for everyone to complete the event set during an event. So basically, they, they concentrated on event equipment and not the actual reward system, which is understandable because they said they're, they're learning for it, it's a new one. So the, the whole purpose was, they said, is to collect all these uh, equipment sets, like these bits, so you, it's easier. So there's another method, instead of just drops, so invent drops, there'll be another method to complete the set. So they're concentrating on the sets and not the rewards. They said, thanks for your feedback. Appreciate the decide to make two, tap talking to the best game it can be. And, and then another update to say, they got all the feedback regarding Halloween events. So they obviously heard about the amount of people that were posting and unhappy about it. So the positive or ne negative or nature of feedback, they said they have listened and they will absorb it and they'll put it into the next event to make it run as fun and smooth as possible. So basically, in the two and a half years this game came out, I think this is the first time I remember that this has happened and people have been so upset about it. This is generally the first time I've ever played Tap Titans 2 where I haven't been able to complete a full event 
due to money. It was a little error. It happens. They they tried to increase it. Um, I, I still don't think enough. I think all they need to do is increase the event time for an extra week without having to increase the 100 in tournaments because even though increasing 100 souls in tournaments, that doesn't help because everyone was trying to get first place, which made tournaments even harder than usual. So just because the increases on it increased the base value to 100, the total to get all of them just made it harder to get the high ranking during that, that 14 days. So if they did increase the length of the event for next week, that would give it enough time period for everyone to collect enough souls on an equal manner because if some new people weren't as powerful, they couldn't collect as much, or sometimes people weren't playing due to life, personal, family, work, so they can't play as much as usual. Um, that didn't take into account. A lot of people on my Discord said they ended up between two to two thousand to three thousand souls, which was nowhere near four thousand, which is what you needed really to get the special avatar. But as I said, they learned for it, so I am looking forward to the next event. I'm guessing they will do a Christmas one. They've always done a Christmas event, so that'll probably be in the next couple of weeks. I imagine towards the end of November, we'll probably get another update for Christmas. I don't think they'll do an event. I think it'll just be a bundle deal. I th I, this is my assumption. There'll be two things in the shop. One will be a, a package, probably either more souls or cards, and then a outfit one. I reckon it'll be an outfit deal that you can buy or can collect. I don't think it'll be an event. I think they'll save that for Easter or something like that. Well, that was just my thoughts. I, I'm, as I said before, I think it's a learning curve. It's the first time we've tried it. It's really good. What they did, I think they just didn't think about the reward system too well. But overall, they have listened. They always listen to feedback. So I'm gracious for that, that, that they're so close to community. But what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about the new two cards? and what you thought about the Halloween event. How did that affect you? And how did you feel about the outcome? Now, if you leave a comment below with your thought, and if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I will do release Tap Titan 2 videos every Tuesday, other mobile game guys on Thursday, and you can see me stream on Twitch, YouTube, Sundays at eight or around about 9 p.m. I hope you have a great day and take care, bye. Hi everyone, I'm pleased to announce that the webpage for Soros Gaming is now live. If you go to www.soresgaming.uk, you'll come to this new website edition. I'll quick run through all the amazing features and displays just for you guys. So on the home page, it will have all the latest news. So it'll have my latest guys displayed. Also to quick updates of all the games and the current news and the updates of my social medias on the homepage. Or you can go to About and News, which will tell you all about any new artists or developments or guides or any people working on projects on myself and any special things that happen. Sometimes there might be certain special events I might attend to, so check out this page. And the next exciting thing is the guide section. Now at the moment I'm covering Tap Titans 2 and Cyber Hunter. I will be covering more guides coming soon. But with each guide has a fully in-depth video tutorial. As you've probably seen my video before, they're all detailed bullet point PowerPoint guides with video animations. And each guide I do will have a downloadable PDF for you to take away. So each guide will on this website, you can download for free straight to your computer, tablet, or phone. All of this is for you. Also, if you have any questions, you can contact me live on this chat function at the bottom of every web page. Just click on this. You can do attachments, emojis, or message me directly. If I'm online, I'll speak to you straight away. If not, I'll reply as soon as I can. So there's a live chat function on every page. And also, there is a merchandise store. So check it out. So it'll be wonderful, limited edition art available just for this store. I've got several artists working on it. I'm quite excited about new new designs and features that are coming up. So if you want to keep up to date with all the news information, check out sorrowsgaming.uk also for the free video guides and PDFs for you to download and take away. I hope this has helped and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.